guys, so these are some of the financial goals I'm going to do in 2024. Or you can just follow this series. We started on last week and uh, I really hoping that you guys are following. If you didn't check my previous videos, kindly go back and check. So before we start on today, today's topic, please make sure that you're visiting my YouTube channel. Support this girl there. In fact, I've done a video right now on where you can get emergency loans. Yeah. Ah, yeah. So let's jump on to today's topic. So the first thing you need to do in 2024 is to set a goal for that year, the whole of that year. I know when most of us get money, all we think about is how you're going to spend it. So I want you guys to think or rethink of when you get money, how you're going to save and invest. Okay. So first of all, make sure that you know your goal. That is the first point. Most of you say, hey, I have goals. What is that specific goal? Please make sure that you set a goal. And the next thing you need to show up for 365 days in order for you to meet these goals. Okay. What do I mean by showing up on in 365 days? This is what I mean. One year has 365 days. So what are you going to do within this day? Okay. These days to achieve the goal that you set. That is number one. Number two is you start investing at least 5K from January to June, okay, rather than just saving it. We said that in our previous videos, we said that um, when you save 50 bob, okay, when you go tomorrow, back there tomorrow, the day after tomorrow, you'll get it as just 50 shillings, okay? So please make sure that you're investing. Well, how do you invest? I've talked about investment videos in a long, long period of time, okay? So you can uh, invest in a circle. When you join a circle, any any good circle, I gave an ex example of Caritas Circle, which is under Catholic Bank, okay? When you invest in a circle, you can get dividend at the end of the year, and you can also get uh, loans and you can invest in anything that you want. I've talked about KCB goal account whereby you save within a period of time and you're going to get unchargeable interest or you can get interest that is tax free. Okay. You can also go and re research about CDS accounts. These are good, good places you can save in. Okay. So number three, use at least 30K of your savings that you saved here in 2023. We're still in 2023. Okay. Those people who have been saving in 2023, you can use at least 30K of your savings. Okay. To start a business in 2024. This is called investment. Okay. So instead of this money just staying there, okay. Find ways, okay, of how you can invest this invest this 30K in order to earn, okay, and increase your income. That's point number three. Point number four, invest in learning, okay, skills that will earn you at least money in 2024. Okay, let me tell you the difference between someone who watches television the whole day and someone who reads books, okay? When you read books, like I read books, I read like this. This is a, a book under Robert K., okay? It's a very good, good financial book whereby you just learn how to increase your financial IQ, okay? I also have skills because I'm very good in sales. I always like, uh, read this book whereby you can learn how to get as many clients, customers, and sales as you can possibly do, okay? It's called uh, Sell Like Crazy by Sibri. Learn books, okay? Read books, read a lot of books, and you're going to learn. When you read, you gain knowledge. And knowledge, you can use it in investment, and you can use knowledge in so many ways. I've talked about additional value, okay? You learn skills. In your YouTube, in your TikTok, learn skills. What are people doing to earn money? Additional, um, additional value is when I talk about you guys doing skills like um, decorating crocs. That's you go and buy normal croc, you decorate it, adding value to it and reselling it, okay? You go and um, check like used bottles, you turn them into vases, okay? And resell them. That's how you add value. By reading books, you gain knowledge and by adding value, you invest and get money number five stop spending on unnecessary things and create a budget and you guys when you get salary okay the first thing you do unajipigia una shere kwanza okay unajishukuru juu yo mwezi mzima umeko kisafa and that's where you people get uh, lost okay so when you get a salary of let's say for example 30k let make sure that this 5000 the first um 5k out of the 30k una invest okay towards your goals Let, let's say for example unataka in the mid of 2024 katikati ya mwaka unafaa kuwa na biashara so una make sure kwanza your 5k umetupa hapo the next thing pay your bills make sure unalipa bills zako let's say for example kuna rent na kila kitu ya 10000 another 10000 will go to your 
spend each other the whole month. You need fare, you need food and all that. Okay. The remaining 5K, the remaining 5K now, here is where you, you pay yourself. Make sure that in each and every day now, you pay yourself. So you have budgeted for all this, then 5K, you pay yourself. How do you pay yourself? Buy yourself a new dress. Hii pesa unayeka ya kujitumia yani maitaji yako ile nye ikuangi necessary. So unavoidi kuspend unnecessary, okay? Hii 5K utatangeneza nyoele, utanunuwa nguo, kama weni mwanaume utanunuwa some shoes and all that, okay? Number six. The only savings you should target is savings on emergency funds. In your 5K inaingilia hapo, okay? So at least kama unataka ku save instead of investing, make sure ti ile pesa yenye una save inaenda kwa emergency funds. Emergency funds ni ile yenye tuseme kuna savings zako yenye tumesema hapa hivi una target kuanza biashara. Okay, you're targeting to start a business. So wakati uko na emergency na umesave at least 5k every month ama 2k, okay? At least utaguza ile pesa ya savings kwa sababu kuna zile emergency zenye ni unavoidable kama uko msick, uko your parents are sick, you have a, key, a, a sick kid. Okay, kuna zile emergency zenye ziko unavoidable, okay? But when you're saving at least 3000, am hizi pesa zenye una savingi unnecessary usage, okay? Utatoa hapa. So at least when you're saving make sure hata kama ni tawa hata kama ni 500 you're saving towards at least emergency funds. Number 7, okay? Dedicate at least 3k to repay your loans in 2023. I've been talking about loans on my YouTube channel and I know most of you guys have been taking loans. Na kuna wenye wajakuwa kilipa na najua uki, ukichukua loan utamu wa loan ni kuichukua but kulipa inakongamazishi, okay? So usinge into bad credit cause definitely one day one time you'll need a bigger loan nani atakusaidia ni we mwenyewe by at least repaying anza na kale kadeni ulianza kakitambo hata kama nikatuke ikalipe kuna kae mshwari ka 300 kalipe okay so these are some of the goals that you have in 2023 make sure that you're paying your loan and let's let's learn more on my youtube channel guys go and support me there we're going to do this hii kitabu tulisema tulianza nayo na tukasema hizi ni resolutions zetu za 2024 so if you've been following my series today marks the second day of us learning about this so guys uh, na waomba favor please just go and visit my youtube channel subscribe become a family there right let's move this 2024 journey together and to next year time kama hii we will see where we will be all of us so ciao for today